Well, thank you everyone for coming. Thank you, uh, Poetry Society, Poets and Writers and Penn. I got the blues, or oh, it's got me. I must be blind, cause I can't see. I got the blues, I got the blues, I got the blues. The boys of local heights, all crotch and attitude, they busting in and busting up. Beer for breakfast, dodging bullets in the afternoon, beer for lunch, dinner, snacks, life one big dog fight, and they're out for the final howl. The projects gnaw the incubator to them, apartments darker than midnight, so black the cracks in the wall can be felt when not seen. Mama got a new lover, whop, upside the head. Mama got a spanking new brawler and crawler, likely to half starve before it's able to walk. If it lives, it will be set straight. There's a lot of rhyme and jive to fill the space between smokes, dalliances with youth authority grads, girls with thighs that smell like woman, enough Enough, enough to roll with in the streets. A teenaged death squad driven drum blood by the twisted tongue sending old men and A students to early graves, filling the abortion clinics and mortuaries. They don't speak proper English. They don't speak proper Spanish. They won't speak unless given a reason. Eyes darker than Azriel's balls, so black, no one can see them crack. Red Noir, the city closes around you. A pillow held down over your face. Your hands grip that stranger's as you struggle for air. You hear the heaviness of breath like stymied flappings of salted wings. You hear distant laughter of neighbors made oblivious by baseball and beer. You hear the forlorn rumble along tracks of ghost trains to Chinatown. It is daylight, but you are buried in darkness, seeing everything dimly as if by neon. You feel eyes walking your skin, know for certain that there's a witness to your ambivalence hidden in the shadows, afraid to get involved. This is where you live. This is where you live under the eaves, frequented by jilted lovers and petty thieves. You wear your loneliness like a trench coat Pull its collar high against the chill as you walk the night whispers along the back alleys of your soul. Excerpts from a prayer. End this soullessness. End this soullessness where weakness is fostered fed on, yet the weak punished disproportionately for their weaknesses, where harmless indiscretions are fodder for the lies of bigots, fascists, misanthropes, where community is counterfeit. End the reign of the bogus in the name of the correct. Let the just go forth. End this soullessness where the hypocrites and heartless in power force an inhumane asceticism on the powerless, litigate their advocates into ineffectiveness, starve the heartful into meanness where the worker is devalued and the different valueless in the reign of fakery in the name of the pious. 
Let the brave find their fists. End this soullessness where wounded lives fester unhealed and unexpressed, where quality and tenderness are beyond the means of the needy, where the dysfunctional are consigned to prisons, state crematoriums, where cartoon cults console the disarranged. End the reign of callousness in the name of economy. Let the lovers, let the lovers go forth. End this soullessness where entertainment is religion, trickery and cruelty are legitimized, institutions are founded on fear, tradition is the calcification of denial, sincerity a character flaw, where affectation rules over authenticity, in the reign of murderers, in the reign of murderers, in the guise of law and order, let the long silence speak, let the brave find their fist, let the brave find their fist, let the brave find their fist, let the brave find their fists. I remember romance. I remember romance in the Chevy graveyard. Ah, the night was cold. The Naga hide was cold, but his ass was cold. <laughs> Aromas of aqua velva, cool filter lungs, silver satin, bitter lemon soaked the air. There was the red stain of razors blessed to the left of his Adam's apple. The stubble of his five o'clock shadow scraped the softness above my left breast. The moon was howling, I swear. It was the local moon. The jade dagger charm that dangled just at his chest hairs from its fine braided gold chain pierced my taffy pull heart. I still cherish the ghost of the purple bruise where his silver Alamo belt buckle painlessly caressed my virgin mambo thigh. Yeah, the moon was howling so it made the wind jealous. Jean Chandler crooned. There's a rainbow, oh, in my, on the only station in town that radio teen music. He had to stop a moment to take out the water, juicy fruits, so we could French tongues unimpeded. The spurs on his black leather boots jangled as one scratched the door handle, the other kept hitting the brake pedal. The remarkable fury of the moon howled on the vista. At that moment, the twin suns of his eyes rolled back into an eclipse. Stars disappeared, the universe went dark. Slowly, light returned, glistening on the head of his left canine. He smiled, my June, my June, my glow in the aftershine held me so tightly. I swooned. He woke me with kisses right there and said they meant I was promised to him alone, always. So sudden, we felt the sacred presence of others in our honor and knew we were haunted by those spirits who had taken many cruises and joy rides on the bald tires and hairpin curves of life. And then as we sweetly departed, that she-wolf moon howled after us until she burst into a shower of lost names.